Hi, my name is Paul from Physics High, and today what I want to do is to give you a brief overview of the Year 11 or preliminary course for the HEC course that is based here in New South Wales, Australia. And so that whether you are in Year 10 wanting to know whether physics is your thing, or whether you're in Year 11 and want to get an overview of the course to give you a deeper understanding of how it is all structured, this is the video for you. And in essence, I'm going to give you a brief overview of the Year 11 course, and I'm not going to go into great detail of the content that is actually the subject of future videos. So let's get started. So the New South Wales syllabus for physics in year 11, as it is in year 12, is broken down into four key modules. And then each of those modules have a number of inquiry questions that are addressed throughout the course, where you explore those concepts at greater detail. And as I said, this is all about just looking at the broad overview of the four modules and the inquiry questions that they entail. Now, the first module you look at is kinematics. The second module look at is dynamics. Now these particular two modules can actually be combined as a unit called mechanics. And I have a video on what is mechanics and that link will be in the description below. Module three looks at waves and thermodynamics. And finally, you look at module four, which is all about electricity and magnetism. Now, each of these modules is broken down into key inquiry questions. And for success in physics, it's helpful to know what those inquiry questions are. In other words, the content that you cover are all set up so that you address and answer those inquiry questions. Now, I don't have enough space on my board to actually literally write out each of the inquiry questions. So I'm going to just use keywords to help structure our plan here. But I will provide a link in the description below where you can download a printable sheet which has the full setup of what I have here plus the full text of the inquiry questions. So please access that and put it in your notes to help you prepare for any exams. Now, kinematics is basically divided up into two key questions. The first of which is motion in a straight line. Then we look at examples where we have motion in what we refer to as motion in a plane. But in essence, what we're saying is it's not one dimensional, but looking at aspects of two dimensional motion. And kinematics is simply about how we measure various aspects of motion. Now, I actually have a video that looks at greater detail of what kinematics entails and I encourage you to look at that video. The link is in the description below. Dynamics actually doesn't look at measuring the motion, it looks at the causes underlying motion. And that's divided up into three key inquiry questions. The first one is the concept of forces. We then look at specifically what forces do and also in relation to energy. So what we look to here is not only at forces, but acceleration and energy. And then finally, because we're interested in forces between various objects, often we're dealing here with interactions. And so what we now have is looking in our third inquiry question, where we deal with interactions that involve momentum, energy, and we see them in systems. We then move into something completely different. Kinematics looks really at the analysis of motion of what we refer to as particles, that is discrete objects, and we, how we measure them and why they move as well. We now look at the concept of waves, and that is also broken down into a number of key inquiry questions. Our first inquiry question simply says, well, what is a wave? How do you define it? The second inquiry question look, said, well, how about we look at typical wave behavior? We then move on specifically the aspect of sound. Now, sound is an example of a wave. In fact, it's an example of a mechanical wave. And so we're interested in here now the applications of the behavior with our sound as an example. Fourth one, we now look at the concept of light, which is not a mechanical wave. It's a form of electromagnetic radiation. But we're particularly in here looking at light and what we might refer to as the ray model. And again, we're looking at the behavior of light in various situations, such as reflection and refraction. And finally, we look at thermodynamics, which is all really about energy and how energy moves and how particles respond to that. We then deal with finally with module four, and that's broken down again into a number of inquiry questions. And the first one looks at our charges. It's often referred to as the concept of electrostatics, 
We then say, well, what if those charges move? And we're particularly interested in what we call circuit analysis or circuits. And then finally, we look at a separate topic again, and we look at magnetism. So there you have an overview. Now, as I said, I've not gone into great detail. It's meant to be just a broad brushstroke to show you what we cover in year 11, or maybe remind you, and I will be producing subsequent videos. I will be exploring each of those modules in greater detail in hopefully helping you achieve greater success in your physics course. I also have a video where I do this concept on the HSC course. And again, I will also have videos that I'll develop that I'll deal with each of the modules and explain what each of the inquiry questions actually entail. Well, I hope that has helped you understand the preliminary course in physics. Please like, share, subscribe, put a comment down below if this has been helpful for you. And consider supporting me by buying me a coffee. The link is in the description below. My name is Paul from Physics High. Take care and bye for now.